Matt DiPerno, definitely going down as an American hero. Check it out. Hi guys, Dave and Kelly. I want to touch bases on Matt DiPerno, you know, the lawyer for uh, Bill Bailey out there in Michigan, uh, in the Antrim County. Uh, just did a press release, which was uh, very difficult for him to do because uh, number one, which you probably didn't hear, is his office got broken into. Uh, they didn't find anything missing, but it was kind of like somebody was trying to send him a message. He was supposed to have the meeting at the press release at the VFW, but the VFW somehow got some kind of pressure, outside pressure, and they had to cancel. So uh, anyway, so we finally got the press uh, release going and it went live on 100% fed up on uh, Facebook. Uh, I will show you a few uh, segments of it, but I will put the link down below so that you can go and watch the whole thing. Uh, but what I want to uh, point out is some of the stuff that they showed to the public there was just mind-blowing to the public. But most of us have already seen it. Most of us that follow, you know, Doug Tenapel and Neil and, you know, Behizzy and all them, we've seen these clips. But what really stood out to me is I thought, oh, wow, you know, there's so many people, they don't go on YouTube. They don't, you know, they, they're not aware of this. And if it's not a mainstream uh, 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 media, they're not going to see it, not going to know about it, not going to hear about it. So what I want to emphasize is somehow, some way, we need to take these links to all these things that we're putting out there and maybe text the links to friends and people that we know and so forth. Uh, people that maybe don't watch YouTube and you just, you know, say, hey, you gotta, you gotta see this. Anyway, that's my take on it because I think there's a, a, a huge movement going on on YouTube. But problem is, is we're preaching to the choir. We need to get it outside of the normal people that come to YouTube or maybe direct people to start coming to YouTube that normally don't. That's how we're going to get more word out. But hey, the audiences are growing bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'm really excited about what's happening. Okay, that's it. We'll see you on the next one. And Thank I'll tell you, you something we discovered this weekend. We can now show that after the election is done, someone, anyone really, who has access to those candidates can reopen the election. Run more ballots through the tabulator. Print off a new tabulator tape with the new ballots and backdate that tape to November 3rd. Wow. Anytime. The Philippines have the same issue.